where are you heading now, Mark? Well, we're starting our adventure to our first FMCA convention. We're going to the 100th celebration. We're going to be no, it's actually the 100th. 100. Rally. Oh, 100th rally. Rally that they're doing, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to go uh, two and a half days to RV school so we can learn how to RV. And then uh, after that, it's uh, four days of the convention, which is going to be solid classes and all sorts of presentations and junk buildings and entertainment, uh, yep, food, yep. brand new coaches to look at. And I yeah. hope. I hope I, somebody doesn't book me into buying a, a new one. No, that ain't going to happen. I'd have to give this one to my son then. No, we're going to stick with this. All right. All right, here we go. So here we are, uh, the first day, pulling in with the rig. It was a little bit of a high-stress situation for us both. It was our first rally, the first time that we were literally all parked simultaneously, one rig after another, but it's pretty much followed a leader here. These uh, FMCA uh, helpers, they're all volunteers. They made it real easy. Sue was following in back of me and did an excellent job guiding her vehicle in as well. We're in lot, we're in lot N1, that's Nancy. Nancy one. Yeah, he said Nancy okay. one, but I said, no, 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 no. This is naughty one. <laughs> did you uh, say that? Oh my god. Of course god, I did. So when you finally get to where you're going, you have to set up. And this is the kitchen slide coming out, and now you're looking at the bedroom slide. Oh, that sounds painful. Here is the full wall slide coming out. And it struggles at times, but it usually makes it. Coming up will be the coach coming off of its airbags and exhausting the air. And then as soon as you're down in position, then the hydraulic jacks will be energized and that will actually do the stabilizing and the leveling of the rig. So we made it. We are here at the Family Motor Coach Association Rally. It's the 100th um, national rally in Minot, North Dakota. And let's see, what is it? August 10th. We're here a little early because we're doing the RV basic class like three days before the rally starts, which is nice because we've got a primo spot and um, on asphalt, not grass. So we're excited. Here we go. Good morning. Today is our first day at the technically our second day at the FMCA rally in Minot, North Dakota. And today actually we are going to the RV basic workshop. We're here before the um, convention. So we signed up for this. That's my Marco. He likes signing up and learning so many new things. Oh my gosh, finally he's showing up. Well, I... Uh... I just wanted to see how cold it was to see if I need to take my fleece along, and I do. All right. All right, he's not ready yet. So, besides doing the electric today, we're going to learn about the weight and tires and um, plumbing, um, pretty much all the guts of this uh, RV. So, it'll be interesting if we ever get going. Good morning. You're probably wondering why we're starting this segment in the bathroom. Well, we're going to the FMCA Basics RV class and we're learning about the basics. And this is uh, two and a half days and then uh, there's a day of uh, rest and then we're going to go to the convention. So come on in here. Because we're boondocking and we're not that good at it, we actually have to keep track of how many times 
we flush the you know what and we actually know from experience that we get 60 flushes and then we have a problem we had a C level gauge system put in uh, we actually have a video of that uh, I can put the link down below and we really like it it's very accurate but nonetheless I wanted to uh, count the flushes to make sure that my number is accurate uh, so that in case that system fails and just kind of backup information but also come on inside one of the things we're going to learn about is RV electrics and in an RV many times the electrical cabinets are hidden in kind of funky places just where they have room so we're going to be diving into this you know knock on wood everything has been solid as a rock on this Numar electrically so uh, we'd like to keep it that way turn off the lights. We're on solar panels We did have to run the generator this morning a little bit. We woke up uh, at about 80% I sleep with a CPAP machine We had actually shut off our refrigerator for the night and that seems to have done the trick so uh, We'll report back how well the solar system does to get us back up Sue, you said the batteries are at 88% uh, right now? 88 right now. 88%, so uh, we'll come back from the seminar and see if our solar system gave us 100% for free. Hopefully, it's kind of cloudy today. Yeah, come on, let's get going. We got a lot to learn. We actually are in the disabled electric. Uh, disabled non-electric. I don't know why we're there, disabled electric. But we can run our generator all day long if we need to be and all we have to do is walk this way and this is where all of our seminars are going to be and that's what we're looking at in the background right there yeah right there carry on so what you got there mark well after we did our cost video we owe it to ourselves and the people that are watching us to see if we can actually reduce our costs. So we're going to constantly always try to rein things in a little bit. Uh, I mean, could we afford to keep spending this? Yeah, but why, you know? So we actually packed our lunch here and we're going to be able to, in between seminars, not waste time trying to track down a hamburger. We'll be able to actually relax and study up on our stuff that we're being taught. Really? Woo! Oh. <sighs> starting to sweat a little bit there. From the moment I walked into class and after it started, I could quickly see that this is the place in the class that Sue and I should have been in right from day one. Every newbie that's watching this should plan to attend an FMCA convention, even if you don't have a rig yet, and take the RV basics class. You will love it. So here's our two favorite people that we met while we were taking this class. That's Cindy on the left and Barb on the right. Previously, they had a Dutch Star Model 4018 when they were still working and they were just weekend warriors, but now they traded that in and got a brand new Dutch Star and they're full time. You can see that the class was sold out. The multimedia was good, the speakers rotated so it wasn't the same guy talking all the time. The book had lots of diagrams and charts and pictures, and it was just uh, really great to be able to follow along, and it was nice that the instructor was just not reading from the book. During the breaking section of the course, Sue and I were thankful we had made the decision to get a diesel pusher with a jake brake so that we rarely use the brakes on the way down. All right, we just finished our first day of basic RV class. How was it, Mark? It was excellent. Uh, it went how I thought. You know that uh, probably you know 90% of what we were uh, talking about in the class we knew, but uh, knew. well maybe I knew and Sue uh, picked up a few things, but I did pick up a couple of pointers, especially during the electrical section. Sue can uh, show that all these Integra coaches 
it looks like there's almost 10 of them because there's some on the other side that you can't see uh, and then inside I believe is where the new Mars are so uh, it's gonna be an exciting show and we're just at the education part of it now I can't wait till we get to all the seminars all right. excellent it's a good start to our convention Well, here we are. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. My state of charge of my batteries is 89%. And you'd think, hey, pretty good, Mark. But unfortunately, even though I did not have my computer on, we did have our refrigerator on. And when I turned the microwave on to cook my breakfast, because we're trying to cook and do everything as quickly as possible with the least amount of energy because our refrigerator which is a full-size uh, residential refrigerator it popped one of the circuit breakers so we learned that this morning didn't we honey making coffee that darn coffee yeah I know it's, it <laughs> confuses a retiree so Sue thinks she's gonna get an action shot of me putting uh, my coffee in but actually what you need is a time lapse because I have to put six creams in and you certainly don't want to watch that for that amount of time. Okay, so you made me lose lose count, so I four. No, I think this is six. Oh, okay, cool. We'll know when we edit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. So it's day two on the FMCA RV Basics, and we've got our coffee, and you can see we're pretty early. And uh, today, what are we going to learn today? <coughs> today is Monday, so we've got driving and towing, um, propane systems, appliances, personal safety for RVers, and then uh, technically choosing your next RV. Ooh, you might have to leave before that one. So Cindy kind of made a grave error sitting next to me in this seminar because every time the instructor would take a break and get a coffee, we would talk about different gadgets that I would suggest that she needed. And Cindy, being the very efficient person she is, would look it up and add it to her Amazon list for later purchase. OMG, I'm glad I'm not paying that bill. Who oh boy. I just got out of my RV basics class and thought I'd take a quick shot here before there's just a zillion people. Here is three coaches that are probably 700 grand a pop. These are, I don't know, four or 500,000 a pop. They're all lined up here. And I walked through an area I probably shouldn't be because you can see how pristine this blue carpet is here, but they've got stuff set up here. And this is literally about maybe less than a 10th of the big boys that they have here for us to look at. Come on, I wanna show you something else that's really awesome. I wanna show you a frame. So I've seen this uh, frame many times. This is a Spartan frame. And those big motorhomes that I just showed you, this is what they ride on. Now, we have a Freightliner frame, and I'm sure they will have one that I can show you. It's actually a little prettier because it's just sprayed black. It doesn't have the flag on it, which really distracts you. But let's dive in and see what this puppy looks like. Check this motor out. Now, if I'm recognizing my motors, I think this is a 605 horsepower diesel. I have a wimpy 450 horsepower, so uh, I'm kind of lusting over it right now. But uh, it's pretty awesome. And it's nice seeing them stripped down like this because you get to see the suspension components, the bags. You also get a sense for what a treat it's going to be when all this machinery in here starts to go sour on you. What are you going to do? That's just the way it is. Since we have a solar system and we rarely use it, although we do know it works now because we had it worked on and certified, 
we chose not to be one of the coaches in this row or this row over here that is provided power by this standby portable generator in the distance, the big giant green thing. It was more expensive and we wanted to see if we could boondock on our solar system. I'm gonna go check to see how the batteries did today. You'll notice from the sky in the background, it was not an overly sunny day, so it's gonna be interesting. All right, just a quick update. We were gone for five and a half hours at our seminar. We came back for lunch, and it's uh, predominantly a rainy, uh, cloudy day, but we see we're at 87% SOC, that state of charge. 87%, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus. Yep, got it. Yeah, and so our solar is keeping up, so to speak, with our residential refrigerator, and I suspect that if it stays like it is right now, that will still increase, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's kinda getting sunny right. off and on. The people to our left have their generator on all freaking day. The people over here have it on like half of the day and we're like, you know, barely an hour a day or so. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we'd like to offer a pro tip today that we learned on boondocking in the boondocking class. And that tip is to always properly plan your actions and your route on whatever you're doing to help your energy needs, your water needs, and your sewer needs. And so obviously we are planning ahead here before we go back to the rig for lunch. Included in the price of our basic class, because we were going to be at the rally a total of nine days, was a card to get the septic truck out to pump our black and to give us our water. We made our appointment for midweek. One of the perks of being a senior citizen is that you can adopt the easy rider attitude when you're tooling around in your golf cart and literally park these babies wherever you want, knock the sign down, park the carts on top of the sign, who cares? During the rally, Captain Sully Sullenberger, the Spinners, and the Soul Shine Band ended up playing. For the shows I just mentioned, this arena was packed. This crowd you see here is actually just the first time people to the FMCA rally that are getting instructed on what to expect for the coming week. Oh my God, I think it's time for us to go to our seminars. We have to get going, honey. Thank God I got my hat on so I don't have to find that and, and put that on. I saved some time. So let's get going. Okay. I just got up 1.7 minutes ago and the fun of boondocking for an old person. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to go over here and we have to see that we're at 74% on our battery. Now I'd probably leave it if it was going to be sunny today because I have discovered that this would go back to 100% with our uh, solar system. But if you look at the window here you can see that it's actually rainy here and it's going to be rainy most of the day. So I'm going to hit the magic button which is over here and it's this one and I press it. And we have 94 amps in a minute and a half after it after it uh, warms up. I'm really glad it went on because I was worried. <laughs> but it's it's a it's a diesel generator and it has a uh, coil in it that has to heat up. So all right, Mark, Mark can have his coffee now. Yeah, and you can make your juice, honey. <laughs> ah, the joys of boondocking. Well, now that Sue. It's uh, had me turn a generator on. She was able to make her salary juice. Mm. Excellent. A lot of gold. Mm, I love it. Mm. Okay, so she's ready to wash her hair. And we forgot we don't have any hot water. So another thing we have to do is we had to come over and press this button and make sure this green light was on because that's our diesel hot water heater. So we turn that on and it's super fast. 
How's we're our gonna, fresh water? Do we have uh, that? Well, that's good point, honey. I'll check that. Our fresh water, we have 71. We have zero gray. And we have 6% naughty water. Okay. <coughs> and we're good? Uh, yeah, we're good. So uh, the joys of boondocking continue. All right, so here we are. We're going to our uh, dump our garbage. Yeah. Okay, so it's day three and we're on our way to the uh, seminar, but we had an unusual thing happen to us. We've had this channel out since December of uh, 2018, and we actually had a subscriber recognize us, and she recognized me as a possible drone owner to be. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Thanks for giving us the drone sequence. <laughs> drone owner to be right there. Okay, we got a special treat for you guys today. We've got Jeannie. She's my, actually my best friend now. <laughs> As we're walking from our coach to the convention on the third day, she actually recognized us. And our, <laughs> our channel has been up since December 2018. And no one, and this includes my mother, didn't recognize us on screen. So I'm really proud of her. And uh, I don't know. We'll have okay. to we'll have to send her something, you know, like a a bear or a sticker. Or oh, there we go. Shout out. There we go. Yeah. And then right. just Jeannie. as nice in person as they seem to be on. Great. <laughs> Great. Hey, I'll pay you later, but I forgot my wallet. Okay. Yeah. I, I know did. where you are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Teresa and Tam Chan. So we're wrapping up here at the FMCA uh, RV Basics class, and we just finished the chapter on boondocking and different tips and learning about setting up in the boondocks and uh, how to maximize your comforts and beating the heat and all sorts of different things. Talking about uh, power conservation, laundry, staying connected to the world, and if you have any emergencies, any type of satellite equipment. And uh, we finally, on the last thing here, learned the most important thing for any Class A owner when considering uh, boondocking. Don't. Thank you very much. <laughs>